Oh, good lord. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Man Shed. My name is Earl. I'll be your host very briefly. Grab your malt liquor and let's have a drink, shall we? Malt liquor. Uh, all right, I'm, like, I'm walking uh, books out to the sh man shed. I'm proud to say I have three loads of books to bring out here. This this is what I'll be reading. I'm bringing out my pipe stuff, too. This is what I'll be smoking. I'm not spending enough time out here, and I'll tell you why. And this comes into the five things, the five improvements I want to make in my new year. Um, the theory behind this is just focus on a few things. Just focus on small additions to your habits. And uh, over the year, that's going to add up a lot. So... Basically, I've, I've been kind of working on this, like, 30-minute rule. So, uh, I, for cleaning today, I just said, I'm just going to give myself 30 minutes to clean. It actually went longer than that because I was kind of on a roll. And uh, some things, you know, I'll do every once in a while. Some things I'll do all the time. i got a dishwasher coming this week. That's going to be great. But, for instance, like, I washed my windows, and uh, I don't normally pay too much attention to that. I mean, light comes in. I don't often look out my window to see what my neighbors are doing. Um, so, but it made a difference, and it looks nicer, and I kind of pick up on that. It makes me feel a little bit better in that room. So, those things add up. Finances, uh, on the 15th, I'm going to, like, I'm going to pay my mortgage on the 1st. On the 15th, I'm going to, I'm going to think to myself, like, how am I doing? Like, can I throw a couple, you know, a couple extra bones towards my mortgage? Because I think if I do that on the 15th of every month, uh, at the end of a year, a significant amount of money and improvement and closer to my goal will have taken place. And I'll start slow and see how that goes. I'd really like to, you know, pay my house off as fast as possible. Why wouldn't I? Ra I'd rather have my giant portion of my pay coming into my savings as opposed to going out to a mortgage. So that would, you know, more money in my pockets, more better. Especially if you think about retirement, man. You want to get out from underneath your mortgage long before you retire. Because that's going to be one of your greatest, one of your greatest abilities to have, you know, retirement options is to have money in the bank. Uh, Health-wise, uh, small improvements in my health. Uh, cutting back on things I know aren't as good. Uh, improving my size of my belly, um, and that's gonna that's gonna involve small changes. I've 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 learned a lot more about diet. Um, I gotta start exercising in a different way because my body's used to the way I exercise now, and it just it just copes with it. Um, anyway, that's the gist. Finding some like some very small basic things to add to my routine that improve my life. Uh, so happy new year everybody hope it's wonderful and I hope I hope everybody no matter how, what's going on in your life find something small to make a small improvement a tiny improvement in a day done every day week after week month after month is gonna have some sort of great effect upon you you can't deny it um, even if it's got like five minutes of extra nice sleep you know um, that's gonna add up everything's gonna add up Doing things, doing good things is going to add up. Doing negative things is going to add up. So try to focus on the good and try to dwarf. Don't dwarf. Seriously.